Sagittarius. Welcome to your July 1st through the 15th tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my, can to my channel. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings. So let's get started. What is the central theme of Sagittarius's reading today? What is the central theme? The Sagittarius is reading today. Okay, so I have the Angel of Strength in the reverse. So there's somebody who's being weak here. You're not using your inner strength, your inner gifts. There's weakness. Okay, three cards for Sagittarius's mental state. What's going on in Sagittarius's mind? Three cards for what's going on. Uh, there's a lot going on in your mind. But that's too much. <laughs> Pass. The, these are two decks put together. Half of them just fell on the floor. So uh, three cards for what's on Sagittarius's mind, please. Okay, so the first one is, okay, so the Nine of Swords reversed. The Six of Cups. One more card for what's on Sagittarius's mind. Okay, and then I have the Chariot. So the Nine of Swords reversed. Uh, this is Gemini energy. This is not sweating the small stuff, getting perspective. Um, there was some worry in the past, there was some anxiety, but it's been lifted. You're not sweating it anymore mentally. You're sleeping better. And then I have the Six of Cups in the upright. So this is childhood memories nostalgia and it doesn't have to be childhood it could just be nostalgia in general thinking about the past so mentally you're going back to the past you're focused on the past you're cut off from life here you feel very regretful there's a lot of regret here um this is scorpio energy so it's very passionate intense sexual jealous secretive psychological, um, turbulent, vindictive energy. So we have Gemini, which is the master communicator of the Zodiac, and then we have Scorpio, which is ruled by Mars. Uh, Aries is also ruled by Mars. Sometimes Aries comes back in the form of Scorpio when it's attached to emotions because Scorpio is a water sign so it's all about emotions and intuition and nostalgia and um, Aries is fire so that's all ambition, aggression, energy. And so sometimes Aries manifests as a Scorpio uh, when we're talking about an emotional connection. So we could be talking about Aries or Scorpio. And then we have the Chariot, which is the card of Cancer, which is very emotional. Um, so this is a major Arcana card. It's a major life event. This is gaining control of opposing forces. This is completion, control over your emotions. Appearances can be deceiving. This is travel. So you may be traveling somewhere or mentally traveling somewhere. Um, this could be a powerful, successful man or woman hiding behind a mask. Cancers can be very moody, um, very emotional. They can be very manipulative as well. Insecurity would be another. And I, I do see there's a lot of sleepless nights in the past, a lot of anxiety in the past. A lot of anxiety and sleepless nights in the past. A lot of your emotions taking control of you and reflecting. I see presently there's a lot of reflecting, um, looking back at memories. But I see you gaining control. You're getting in control of it. And you're being happy. You're choosing to be happy here. 
there's a choice to be happy. Okay, so what's going on in Sagittarius's family and home life? Three cards for Sagittarius's family and home life. So I have the lovers reversed. So again, we have Gemini. We have Gemini underneath Gemini. So we could be talking about Gemini here. And the Ten of Cups. Ooh, that's really good. Upright. So that's a really, yeah, that's a good one to get in your family and home life. That's amazing. We'll go for that in a minute. So one more. One more. And then I have the Moon reversed. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's the winds of change. It starts in with the winds of change. The master of communicator in Gemini. And then we get very emotional. We have double Pisces energy. So in your family and home life, you have this double Pisces energy, this I believe, this super mystery, as mysterious as the ocean itself. Deep intuition, deep sentimentality, highly nurturing energies in the Ten of Cups and the Moon, side by side. The Moon can also be Cancer, and it's right underneath the Chariot. So I'm taking this more as a Cancer energy, because the Chariot is Cancer. The Moon can be either Pisces or Cancer. So we'll go ahead, because it's right underneath the Chariot, to call it Cancer energy. So we have a lot of manipulation. I do see that in your family and home life, there is a lot of manipulation. But... <clears throat> we have the Ten of Cups. This is the best card that you can get in your family and home life. The best card. This is joy, happiness, marriage, fairy tale. This is the fairy tale. This is domestic bliss. Emotionally successful outcome. And that is Pisces. And we have the lovers, but it's in the reverse. So in the lovers reverses, there's communication breaks down. Somebody sent the wrong message. There's infidelity here. Using sex as a weapon. Jealousy. Possessiveness. Separation. Low self-esteem. There's a lack of self-love here. There's disagreements. It's just not the right time to move forward. But then there's the extreme happiness card. The fairy tale. And then we have the moon reverse, and that's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. You're being manipulated. There's nightmares here. Imagination running wild. A fear settling. Not using your intuition. Buried memories. There could be an absent mother or father. Um, addictions. There's addictions here. You're being nostalgic and you're seeing this happy family, but it wasn't true. It wasn't true at all. That's a deception. That's an illusion. You were manipulated. There's massive manipulation here. Gemini, Pisces, Cancer. It's massive manipulation. What's going on in Sagittarius's social and romantic life? What's going on in Sagittarius' social and romantic life? Six of Wands. Upright. Two more cards. Oh, perfect. Three. Let's make it three. Ten of Wands. Upright. The Devil. No, I'm sorry. This is Death. Death Upright. The Magician Reversed. Okay, so the Six of Wands in the upright. This is moving away from conflict. This is, um, <coughs> you're the winner. You won. 
socially and romantically you won. You're being recognized as the winner. This is a short-term parade. Your burden. Your burden. <coughs> uh, something's completed. It's completed. This could be with a, another fire sign. These are both fire cards. Uh, the Six of Wands is Leo. The Ten of Wands would be your energy. This would be Sagittarius energy. So, you're being recognized, but you're very burdened by this. Then we have death. This is Scorpio energy. Again, this could also be Aries. Um, because Scorpio and Aries are both ruled by the planet Mars, so they're interchangeable. Um, Scorpio is the emotional side of Mars, and Aries is the aggressive side of Mars, the warrior, the I am me, and Scorpio's I desire. So this is the card of Scorpio. It's a major arcana card. This is death, and when death comes, it's change, it's transformation, a rebirth, a chapter in your life is ended. This is accepting and releasing. Accept, release. Things have to die, oh yeah. This is, it's talking about Aries here, because it has the page of wands. I have two decks put together. This specific deck has the page of wands right there. Giving death flowers. It's an emotional death. And this is, I, I, I just feel like this is an Aries. And this is the page of wands and it, it's, it's death. I'm sorry, just give me a minute. Because I actually, um, I had I had a boyfriend who was an Aries who uh, left me for a Sagittarius. He died April, April the 6th of this year, of uh, 2018. Right before he died, like the day before, I was playing with my tarot cards and the Page of Wands came out. And it's right here. The same little boy holding the bouquet of flowers. <sighs> You're not able to manifest the magician's reverse. This is being weak. There's lack of self-discipline here. Lack of qualifications. You don't have the resources. Just being delusional. Showing off. Communication problems. Okay, three cards for advice for Sagittarius, please. Three cards for advice for Sagittarius, please. All right, I have the King of Swords in the reverse. I have the King of Cups in the reverse, and I have the Emperor in the upright, and it doesn't want me to take this card. Okay. So I have the King of Swords in the reverse. So there could be mental abuse. There's hypocritical, ruthless, cold, inhumane arguments, criminal behavior, um, definitely abusive, verbally abusive. Somebody was verbally abusive. It looks like it was in your past. A person was verbally abusive in your past. And that is the card of Gemini. And we have Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. All right, I have the King of Cups in the reverse. So this is a narcissist. Uh, 
this is highly manipulative man. This could be rape. This is addictions, drug addiction, alcohol addiction. This is violence, dark arts, con men, womanizers. And you need to recognize that. that you, you see them as a king, but they're not. They're not. The, these are not even players. These are worse than players. These are emotional manipulators. Aries, the Emperor. Scientific evidence. You need to look at scientific evidence. You need to look at your head, not your heart. You need to look at the facts. The absolute hard facts. And that's good advice. And develop a tough exterior. You need to see through this bullshit. We have two highly abusive, highly manipulated men here. We have the King of Swords reversed and the King of Cups reversed. This is the card of narcissism. This is the card of narcissism in the reverse. They came in the upright. This is abuse. And you need to see it. You need to see that shit for what it is. And that's the advice. So what's going on in Sagittarius's money? Three cards for what's going on in Sagittarius's money. I have the Ten of Swords in the upright. So there's massive betrayal, backstabbing. Another two more cards. Things are changing. The winds of change are there. The Chariot. The Chariot came out twice. We could be talking about Cancer. Cancer came out in the Moon. Cancer came out in the Chariot. The Six of Cups is Scorpio. Sorry. I don't know why I said that. You may be looking at the past about a Cancer because the Six of Cups is about looking at the past and so you may have a Cancer from the past that you're looking because nothing that you say during a tarot reading is ever is ever a... Uh, it could be a Leo too. All right, and then I have the Will of Fortune. I always see that as Sagittarius. Alright, so the Ten of Swords in the upright um, this is a completion. This is the card of Gemini. It actually came in the row of Gemini. So we have the Lovers, with this, which is Gemini. We have the Nine of Swords, which is Gemini. And it all came in a row in a nice, pretty little package. Um, so we're definitely talking about Gemini here in this first row. It's just that energy of Gemini, that mutable energy, which you're a mutable sign too. Pisces, Sagittarius, and Gemini are all mutable signs. They go with the flow. They end the season. Uh, so the Ten of Swords is a complete mental breakdown. It's being backstabbed, severe conflict, abuse, attacked, gossip, hitting rock bottom. In terms of finances, swords actually can represent finances because you, you have to be wealthy in order to have a sword. And the, the wealthier you are, the harder you can fall. And I do see um, falling here. It could be over a Gemini. Uh, it's, Geminis can be very superficial. Uh, not all of them. That's like a negative trait. Uh, Geminis are adaptable, versatile, alert, curious, restless, social, friendly, breezy, superficial, flighty, two-faced, indecisive, nervous, uh, energetic, talkative. Oh my god. <laughs> my, I'm a Gemini. I'm Gemini Moon. My best friend Jay was a Gemini son. Talk about energy. I, I, I couldn't even keep up with her. She was insane. Um, jack of all trades. Uh, busy, moody, chatty, fickle, finger in many pies. So that's the energy that's being brought here. And I see it being in the past. And then in the present, there's nostalgia. There's a lot of emotion. There is all, right now, presently, it's all emotion. You're so emotional, and it's affecting your finances. And I see the chariot, and the chariot came out twice, and this is cancer energy. Um, so there's 
gaining control over opposing forces. Someone's hiding behind a mask. Appearances can be deceiving. Someone's hiding behind this mask of a happy family, but it's not true. It's, de it's deceptive. There, there is no happy family here. There's, there's conflict. And financially, there's conflict. Uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune. I always see this as you, because it's ruled by Jupiter and it's fire, and you're also ruled by Jupiter and your fire. Pisces is also ruled by Jupiter, so we're actually, because I'm a Pisces, we're actually uh, astrologically siblings, so that's kind of cool. Um, but this is um, nothing lasts forever, so financially nothing lasts forever. Uh, constant motion, but this is good fortune, positive change. So. It starts out with betrayal, but then it ends in positive change. Unexpected rewards. There's growth here. Abundance. So, I do see that you, you were screwed over horribly. This is bad. You were screwed over bad here. But, I see it progressing. And it ends in positive change. The wheel of fortune turns. And it turns in your favor. Because Jupiter is luck. You're Sagittarius. You're ruled by Jupiter. You're ruled by luck. You're always going to be the lucky one. Because you're ruled by Jupiter. You're ruled by luck. I also am. Ooh. Okay, uh, so who's luckier? <laughs> I also have Neptune. Deception. Illusion. Fantasy. My sister's a Sagittarius. So not only are we sisters by birth, like human sisters, but we're also zodiac sisters because we're both ruled by Jupiter. Our, our parent planet is Jupiter. So we share the same plant we share the same parents everywhere. <sighs> Alright, three cards for Sagittarius's career. Three cards for Sagittarius. We have the Eight of Pentacles working hard. The Nine of Pentacles reverse. Ooh, overinvestment in work. The Three of Pentacles. There is teamwork though. Very good. Your career is very good. Very, very good career. The Eight of Pentacles. You work really super hard. Uh, this is a strong, solid commitment towards your career. You're dedicated. There's ongoing hard work, highly skilled, um, on top of your game, exactly where you need to be. Nine of Pentacles reversed. You're over-invested in work. Three of Pentacles. There's teamwork here. Gaining qualifications, building, and you're not cutting corners. Well, Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day.